We're going to do an unboxing here of Hobby Wings Z Run Brushless System Combo. This is the XR8 Plus ESC alongside the 1900 KV brushless motor. Here's the part number. All right, so the combo comes in this nice heavy duty box. Go ahead and remove the cellophane and we'll see what we have inside. All right, so we have two separate boxes. So we have the XR8 Plus ESC 150 amp, suitable for 1 8 scale competitions. It has this anti-counterfeit code. The code is inside and I guess you could use this online somehow to make sure that you have an authentic hobby wing product and they're not getting um, some cheap knockoff uh, which you have to be very careful of especially if you're buying RC products online. All right and then the box for the motor. This is the 4268G2 censored brushless motor 1900 kV suitable for 1 8 scale competitions. Again everything is very nicely packaged I'm very impressed by Hobby Wing. I've used their equipment in several of my other vehicles and have had zero issues with any of them. Nothing has broken or overheated or really given me any hassle of any kind. All right, so let's unbox each of these and take a closer look. Wow, look at that. Very nicely displayed. I really like the look of these Hobby Wing ESCs. This is pretty impressive. It has some, some heft to it. It feels like it is built with a lot of quality and a lot of care. All right, it's kind of tethered into the box. Let me pull this out and see what we have underneath. All right, so we'll take a close a closer look at this ESC in just a moment. Let's see what else is included in the box. All right, looks like we have some some wires. Looks like 10 gauge wire. These may be all. These are all 10 gauge wire. And then um, a little bag of additional parts, and it looks like some shrink wrap. Let's dump this all out and see. So it looks like we have a mounting plate. We have a replacement fan. That's nice. I've actually never had a Hobby Wing fan go out of me yet, so I don't know, may never need this. Some shrink tubing. And then it looks like we have some countersunk and some button head screws for this, uh, this plate here, it looks like. Some zip ties, and then some double-sided tape. It looks like a, a piece for the bottom of the ESC, and then this little piece here is for the switch. All right, so it's nice that Hobby Wing includes all those little extras to make life easier. Let's take a closer look at this unit.
All right, so it looks like the bottom is plastic, but it feels like it is a very dense and heavy duty plastic. It doesn't feel thin or brittle. And then the heat sink here, this, all this, this is all aluminum, this whole upper plate and heat sink. And then the fan cover that is aluminum and um, the fan here itself, the fan is plastic and you can kind of see the side of the fan. It's a pretty thick fan. There's some depth to it. But a lot of aluminum on this ESC. All right, I'm gonna pull the calipers out and we'll do some measurements here. So the length of the ESC comes in at 58 millimeters. The width of the ESC Looks like about 48, about 49 millimeters. And then the height at its tallest point. So I'm going from the center of the fan shroud to the base. It looks like it is about 38, maybe 39 millimeters. So, very impressive ESC. I really like this. It looks really cool. I like the black, the silver, the aluminum red band around it. Very sporty looking. All right, also in the box, there is an instruction manual, some Hobby Wing stickers, pink, black, and blue. And there you have it. All right, let's take a look at the uh, the brushless motor next. And see what we get in here. Also very nicely displayed, just like the ESC. All right, we'll take a closer look at that in just a moment. Let's see what else is hiding inside the box. All right, so it looks like we have some sensor cables here. I see one, and then this looks like a second one, probably just of longer length. Yep. All right, and then we have some wires. Let's see, these are 12 gauge wires. I really like the feel of these wires. Nice and flexible. All right, so let's take a look back at the, the motor a bit more closely here. Everything's metal, of course. We've got a port for the sensor wire. It looks like the timing is adjustable to some degree. I really like the design of these Hobby Wing motors. They have kind of these polished aluminum bands around the center, giving it sort of a distinctive look. And then they have their their name and model number printed right onto the right onto the can. And they use this ABC lettering system to help make the wiring go a bit easier. And a very large shaft for the pinion gear. All 
All right, so there you have it. That is what you get with the Hobby Wing combo system. Um, please take the time to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any interesting information to share about these items, please do so in the comments below.